Hello you guys, so today I will be letting you guys know some things that I learned from my breastfeeding journey. So I decided to write a few things so I don't forget there's a few things here. I've been breastfeeding for 15 months already and I have learned so much. Allow your body to produce what it needs to produce. The body knows how much milk your baby needs. It takes some time for your body to adjust, but trust me, it will take a few weeks. So you just have to stay very consistent. Obviously, your body doesn't know how much it needs to produce. So yeah, so every day, two to three hours, you last your baby, then your body will get used to those every two to three hours to feed your baby. Even, you know what, um, this is crazy, I, I didn't even know this can happen, but sometimes my baby was sleeping and then my boobs started to leak after like two or three hours. It, it's something like my body knew that I needed to feed the baby. It's crazy. Let me change the battery because I have a low battery. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, so I'm back. Your body will adjust at whenever you feed. Your boobs will get really, really hard and then you will start to leak. That was my experience. Many times I had to put an alarm because the thing is that I was exhausted. At first I was pumping and breastfeeding at the same time. So right after I was done breastfeeding, I would pump. So I was so exhausted. So girl, let me tell you. I needed to sleep but I know after a few weeks I started to just leak around that time around two to three hours so it's crazy how the body works don't be overwhelmed don't be too hard on yourself trust me mama you're doing the best that you can and honestly as long as your baby is eating let's say if it's formula breast milk if it's a combination of both it does not matter Your body is supply on demand. As long as your baby is well latched, you'll be just fine. You don't have to be very strict to yourself. My nurse told me to feed the baby every two to three hours. Some people is different. It depends if the baby is on the way or whatever the situation is. In my situation, the thing is that I had a lot of milk, so I was overproducing. So the nurse told me to just feed the baby every two to three hours. Basically, your body will adapt to your baby needs. I stopped pumping because the thing is that it was way too much for me. I'm a stay-at-home mom and I work from home as well. And I was exhausted, plain and simple. I was just very exhausted. I felt like my baby was gaining weight correctly like i didn't have any issue with him being underweight so um i felt like i was stacking so much milk for no reason because at the end of the day he did not like to drink from the bottle so i used the milk sometimes when we would go out like on a road trip or any appointment that would take me a few hours i would take the milk in a bottle but he just didn't like it. Like he wouldn't even drink it. What I do is that I just stay in my car and I just cover a little bit and then I just breastfeed the baby. Or um, or I start nursing like if in a bathroom. So, or if I'm visiting somebody, I just ask them, oh, can I use one of your rooms so I can, you know, breastfeed the baby? But yeah, I felt like I was just over stacking milk for no reason i was making my body work so much when he didn't want the milk that milk is very magical though when he had scratches i would put the breast milk on his scratch and in a few days he was all good it also helped with his skin like when it was too dry it helped so much so i think that milk is magical i don't know the other thing that i would do is bathe him with the breast milk i didn't do it every single day but sometimes i did it i don't know i didn't see any different but my baby didn't suffer from any skin condition another reason why i stopped pumping it was because the cleaning was so annoying i mean all that part of the pump machine 
you have to wash it very very well and then you have to put it to dry if you try to dry it with a paper towel then there's like little pieces of paper towel inside and yeah so it was just like too much work i did see some people saying that you could like pump put it in the refrigerator and then after two or three hours you can use the same pump container you could like after two or three uses you can wash it but i i i don't know how i felt about that i did try it and it didn't affect my baby in no way i didn't see him have any colic or anything like that but like i said he barely drank milk from the bottle so it was like no point on doing all of that work and then i i was stacking and stacking milk at the end of the day after like six months it will expire and he was not even drinking it every time i breastfed the baby i was hungry and then once i was done breastfeeding the baby i would go and pump for another 15 more minutes let me tell you i was hungry and thirsty very hungry and thirsty and tired and i would fall asleep pumping i feel like pumping hurts a little bit more the suction than when your baby latches at least for my case it was like that so this is what worked for me i would totally recommend pumping if you really need to like if you have to work girl pump if you have to like just relax and leave somebody else giving the baby milk in a bottle then do it for sure if your baby is taking the bottle then pump for sure it's very very beneficial because you can sleep somebody else can take care of the baby you don't have to be with the baby 24 7 like in my case i do struggle with that because he is so attached to me do what you gotta do do what works best for you i am not against pumping it's just like i said my baby was not taking bottles and i felt like i was just overdoing it i was working my butt off for no reason the other thing that i learned is that if you're breastfeeding You will be the primary parent as simple as that you're the primary parent mm -hmm. the baby is attached to you every time the baby is sleepy fuzzy in pain sick whatever it is he will go to you that's their comfort zone they feel safe there keep that in mind this is something very controversial breastfeeding is a full-time job even though a lot of people don't see it trust me it is a full-time job it's non-stop you could be breastfeeding at 2 p.m right now then later on at let's say 5 p.m but it could be at 3 a.m as well it could be at 6 a.m. Like you don't have a schedule. It's hard to do a routine. Sometimes you just have to go with the flow. But yeah, you have to have the house clean. You have to take care of yourself. Make sure that you're eating because if you're not eating then how can you produce enough if you're not eating enough? So you have to make sure that you're eating enough. You have to make sure that you're having good nutrition um you have to make sure that you're drinking enough liquid especially water um you have to make sure that you know exactly what makes you produce more milk and what not i started eating a lot of oatmeal and i drank oat milk and i drank coconut milk and i um i drank body armor i also try to have um, so I also try to make sure that I snack a lot. Every time I nurse, then after that, I'm hungry. So I have a little snack on the side. Just make sure that you are eating enough. But yeah, other than that, you also have to take care of the house. You have to take care of the baby. Diaper change, bathe. You do not stop working. A lot of people think, oh no, it's just give the baby milk and that's it. No, no, sugar boo boo. No, there's a lot of work that you gotta do but it's worth it it's a blessing but it's a lot of work as well you gotta make sure that you're not smoking you gotta make sure that you're not having alcohol either you have to make sure that you're as healthy as possible you gotta make sure that um you gotta be very careful with medicine or supplements that you take you gotta always make sure 
that you ask your doctor first before having any medicine. If you like doing facial, you gotta make sure that that facial is all organic and it's safe because you know it can go to the breast milk and all of these things. Your skin starts to change as well many times. At least in my case, it was like that. Your hair start falling. That's another work you gotta do. You gotta pay attention to your hair. Um, put oil, comb it, this and that. I had and still am having a great experience with breastfeeding. With my daughter, she's 12. Um, but with her, I only breastfed for like a month. And I didn't have all this knowledge that I have now. And with this baby, I decided to breastfeed. But it was not just that I decided. It's that it, I made it happen as well. I, I did my research. I, I did all my homework. Like I checked on YouTube, Google, TikTok. I spoke to specialists. I spoke to friends. I spoke to professionals. Do your homework. I think it's amazing to your baby from your body I think it's very beautiful and it's something that um, I cherish a lot and I am so proud that I made it through a whole year because at first I would say no uh, I'll do it for only three months and then I was like okay only six months because I didn't know how long I was able to do it and then I was like okay seven months look at me now it's 15 months and now i'm still breastfeeding i'm trying to see how i'm going to wean him out because i just feel like i don't want to do anymore i feel like after two years i'm done there's mastitis there's engorgement there's so many things that you just gotta wash out for those things as well. So it's not as easy as just pop out your breast and just lash the baby. Hi. My daughter. I also have lost so much weight ever since I started breastfeeding. Which there's a good thing and bad thing about it. Because the good thing is that obviously I didn't have to work out to lose the weight but the bad thing is that right now i weigh only 107 and i even went down to 104 but i started to eat even more because i'm just losing weight like crazy and i'm very very skinny right now <laughs> like i lost my little booty that i had i lost that too i still don't have my period either my skin is dry normally my skin is a combination it's not too oily it's not too dry right now it's dry like this side and over here it's pretty dry so i have to moisturize a lot but yeah that's another another thing that i do the other thing that i learned is that they do not bite you i thought that once my baby would have teeth he would start biting me um, I'm not gonna lie, he did bite a few times. But it was more like because he was teething, I guess he was irritated. But then I say, no, no, you gotta be firm. You don't have to scream at the baby or anything like that. Obviously, they do not know what they're doing. So you just have to be firm. You gotta teach them, no, you do not do that to mommy. You take the breast out and then you put the other one. Because, you know, if he bite this one, then this one was hurting. I didn't want to put him back on this one. So I will put him on this one. But I will put some of that um, nipple cream. And that works. The other thing that I learned is... If your nipple is hurting and it hurts really bad keep latching because if you stop latching then your breast will get engorged the milk will get clogged and then it'll get engorged or mastitis you don't want that to happen if, if it does happen another thing that I learned is that you have to keep breastfeeding the baby because that will actually help you I thought that no I thought that you shouldn't do that but no it actually does help you and then every time he latches then put the nipple cream again every time you're done nursery put that nipple cream again trust me it does work at first i thought it didn't work it does work and many of those nipple creams at least the one that i had um the baby can have it too it's not dangerous chemical or anything like that they can drink their milk you don't have to clean it or anything like that so you don't have to worry about putting the nipple cream then cleaning it then lashing your baby no no you just put it and if he wants to lash just lash it it's all good There 
is no rules on when to stop breastfeeding. A lot of people will talk, a lot of people will say, you should stop breastfeeding when he's so and so age and this and that. Just do whatever you think is best for you and the baby. Whatever you think is best for you and the baby. Listen to your heart. If you're ready and your baby is ready, go for it. If you're not ready, then keep breastfeeding. Understand when you're ready to stop breastfeeding. That's your journey. That's your experience. So my son nurses on demand and throughout the whole night. I try giving him cow milk. He does take it, but it's not his favorite. He doesn't like it and he eats everything. He just never liked the bottle and he does not fall asleep with it he start playing with the bottle he drinks just like two or three ounces i'm still learning i've been breastfeeding for 15 months and i'm still learning new things so yeah so talk to professionals search up on google search up on youtube there's so many moms out there that love to help people like right now i'm sitting here trying to explain to you my experience so there's all the videos that I watch. Just don't feel pressured that you're gonna breastfeed. As long as the baby is eating, that's all that matters. If it's just breast milk, if it's just formula, if it's a combination of both, whatever works best for you and your baby. Also, when you're breastfeeding, you do not know how much your baby is eating, right? You could be a little scared about it. You could be like, oh my God, is my baby being fed just enough milk for him? Some mamas will feed for like 15 minutes, others for 45 minutes minutes it all depends um it depends on the flow of your milk it depends on how he suctioned the milk it depends on so many things don't worry so much about it and if you have any concern just go to the baby's pediatrician that's the number one thing you gotta do go to professionals and i hope i have helped you at least with a little bit of my experience or inspire you or a family member or a friend or a loved one that you would like to share this video to if you have any question just comment down below. I'm always checking my comment. I'm always replying. You could check all my videos. I always reply to everybody. I appreciate it if you like, share, and subscribe. Good luck on your journey and thank you for watching. Bye.